weaker than the feeble strength of one, but the union makes us strong. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. Is there aught we hold in common with the greedy parasite who would lash us into serfdom and would crush us with his might? Is there anything left to us but to organize and fight? For the union makes us strong. So. It is we who plow the prairies, built the sea.
if I had my microphone turned on the whole time. It's like uh, I've done that before, um, just forgetting to turn on microphones. Um, am I peeking out? No, I still got some volume to go there. So let me just give a recap with actual uh, volume, uh, since I didn't do any of that checking. I just got back from the hospital. Um, if you pay, if you follow me on Facebook, you might have seen my extremely panicked live stream earlier today, uh, which was very embarrassing for me to do. Um, but. You know, I've just spent so much time alone this year that, like, just having all this stress and panic and, like, no one to talk to about it, you know, just fucking venting things, like, and just hoping that someone can hear it kind of makes it a little easier to get through. But, um, so, you know, I was having extreme abdominal pains. Um, like I've never had before and I've been I've been having some abdominal troubles for a couple months um, and you know like I'm still in a, a good amount of pain right now um, like it's it's all like right up in here like it's most right here right now but earlier it was like all up in here and all of this was very just tender to the touch um and so, yeah, um, I was able to, thankfully, because of a nice government lady who was able to tell me the things I needed to say in order to get on access, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, um, uh, I was able to get on access. So I could go to a hospital, but, you know, like, the last time I did that, you know, I didn't get treatment, and... I walked away with a huge ass bill. So, you know, trying to figure out like, do I go to urgent care? Do I just try and wait this out and see a general practitioner? Do I just go to um, uh, the hospital? Can I drive to the hospital? Like I'm having extreme panic and I know, you know, when I have really bad panic, I can't drive. Um, I've had to pull over many times because I was having such bad panic, uh, either because of other medical issues that I've had in the past, um, technically still have, um, I, I gotta remember that I have the arm bandage on, um, but, um, so, yeah, I ended up driving myself to the hospital, my dad stayed on the phone with me the whole time while I was driving there to make sure that, like, because I felt like I was going to pass out. You know, that was my biggest fear is that, like, I'm going to try and, like, you know, like, I was just having a hard time, like, holding shit together. Um, even right now, like, the pain that I'm not doing consistent breathing exercise, the pain is, like, kind of building back up, like, right here. You know, maybe maybe it's not a stomach thing, but, um, you know, they did, they did a CT scan, um, and... You know, they can't see anything uh, that's life-threatening. Um, but, you know, so, you know, but I'm, I'm still in pain right now. Um, and, you know, maybe it's just psychosomatic. Maybe I'm just, like, having just so much stress and anxiety that, like, just everything in here is just cramping and stressing out. Um... But, um, yeah, that was just, fuck, man, like, we need, we need fucking Medicare for all, there, like, there shouldn't be a point in time where anyone should just not be able to go to a doctor, you know, if I had been able to just go to someone months ago, you know, when I was having this issue to begin with, you know, I wouldn't be in this state of fucking panic, um, you know, and... Having been mistreated by hospitals before, like, yeah, they didn't give me, hey, stop doing that. Stop doing that. There's plenty of stuff for you to scratch on. There's plenty of stuff for you to scratch on. I don't need to be fixing more door moldings. Um, but, um, yeah, like, this, this should, this shouldn't be an issue. Like, and I'm not... 
I'm not in the most destitute of positions, you know? Um, I'm, I'm pretty down there, but, oh, fuck, now it's starting to hurt again. Oh. Yeah, I just gotta keep, like, breathing. Uh, maybe I should have had them do a fucking chest scan. Oh. But, um, so, yeah, I'm not gonna do the normal show today. I, I have a script written, and I was literally, like, rehearsing the script, actually, like, doing that extra little bit of preparation i did a whole bunch of research on um i don't want to say a whole bunch of re research on myanmar um but you know i started digging into the history of myanmar and their uh political struggles um which side the military is on which side the um the ousted party is on um what the vested interests could be um, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. I'm just gonna fucking rest tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm still vain enough that I'm still gonna do a live stream and just talk about me and how I freaked the fuck out today. Um, but more than that, like this kind of, this, the live stream is the thing that keeps me sane right now. So... Yeah, just keeping up that, that routine of it's Sunday and I need to do a show. Uh, even though I feel like fucking shit. Um, oh, man, I've never, I've never, like, I've had, you know, panic attacks and, like, and stuff where, like, I really, like, thought, like, is this what it feels like to die? Um, and being in this extreme amount of pain like and it's it's something you know is inside and not like you know if it was just stomach cramps like it was in my lower stomach or mid stomach like I could I could like alright I ate something you know but not this like oh I ate something and now I feel like I'm fucking exploding um and, yeah, just fucking swollen up here. Like, maybe it's colitis. I don't know. Like, that's not where my colon is. But maybe something's, like, inflamed. Like, if it if it was anything down here, they should have seen something, you know? Like, maybe it is, like, my chest and lungs. Maybe something's inflamed in there. Um, because it's definitely when I smoke pot, not the CBD. Um, and I've, I've done some reading that, like, you know, heavy THC causes more inflammation and especially when you like smoke it and you uh, get all that uh, uh, carbon monoxide from just smoking anything um, but there's nothing life threatening so that's I'm not dying uh, even though I fucking thought I was um, and um, yeah like there, there's something going on and so now, you know, they, they gave me some prescriptions for, like, the stomach cramping. Um, yeah, I'm, maybe I'm hoping, like, I've just, like, fucked my diet up so much that, like, you know, I kind of accidentally starved myself and, like, my stomach is just having a hard time, like, adjusting to, like, food and stuff again. Because um, I do keep going on that, like, oh, uh, it's four o'clock and I haven't eaten anything today um better eat a whole bunch of food really fast uh which is just not good for you um so um yeah um that's it's basically what I'm gonna keep it to today um tomorrow I will be doing um today's broadcast um, and I might put a little bit more, uh, time into Russia, um, because, yeah, there's the, the shit, uh, that, you know, we talked about last week that was going down in Russia, uh, that's getting interesting, um, I've been hearing reports that, uh, Navalny has, uh, ties to MI6, maybe not him directly, but, uh, you know, some of his aides, um, have, um, been receiving money from MI6, which, um, 
Yeah, like, Navalny is like, if Putin is a bad right wing dictator, fucking Navalny is like just fucking more right wing. Um, so that's that's not gravy there, but it's also like it appears that Navalny is being supported by the West. And with all of the rhetoric that we've used against Russia for the past four years, that worries the fuck out of me. Um, but we're not going to get too into that today. Um, because, yeah, I feel like shit. Uh, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. I'm going to try and make some soup. Maybe soup will make me feel good. That's the health care we're left with these days. Soup for my family. It's our health care. Um, but, uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll be back um, with the regular broadcast, and we'll talk about um, uh, Myanmar. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Russia, and then uh, I'm going to do uh, our long exploration on how class consciousness ruined my life and can ruin yours, too. Um, so... Yeah, stick, uh, check us out tomorrow at the normal time. And, um, yeah, um, stay hip, stay radical, and like, and share, and do the things that you do on the things that you do them on. So, maybe one day I can make a little money off this and continue to not die um yeah we're gonna leave it at that um uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow and uh enjoy the rest of your evening